Polo All right, so you guys know I'm the type of person on here that holds myself accountable when I give out some wrong information or if I give out some information that could be a little misleading. And on a previous video where I was talking about a co-pub or a publishing deal, I gave some slightly skewed information. And to some of you guys, it is just totally wrong. And I apologize for that because that's the type of person I am. I don't want to give out any information that is wrong. Even though the video did not really do, you know, like super big numbers or nothing like that, but it was very effective to some of you guys who were trying to get into publishing situations and you want to learn about admin and co-pub situations. However, I left out a very key part that you guys let me know on Instagram. So shout out to uh, Producer Culture, for actually posting up the clip on that IG page. I really appreciate you guys for posting me up. And a lot of people came on there and they commented about something that they felt was kind of odd. And I pretty much assumed that everybody knew that before you sign any type of agreement, you needed a lawyer. But I didn't say that. I was just saying, oh, you don't need a lawyer for this and need a lawyer for that. And I am totally 100% wrong for misleading you guys on that. Before you sign any agreement, I recommend that everybody has a qualified entertainment attorney look over all of their agreements, no matter what it is, okay? Because this is your music. You want to make sure you stay protected. And before you sign any type of publishing deal, you need to have a good entertainment lawyer look over that stuff first. That's what you need first, a good entertainment lawyer to look over that stuff. Make sure that you get all of your terms and stuff to where you want it or to where you feel comfortable. And then you go ahead and sign. And then that way, from that point, they will pretty much handle everything else for you. So yes, you do need a lawyer to look over that agreement and I did not mention that in the last video and I am totally sorry about that, okay? And some of y'all let me have it. I needed that because it's a lesson learned because now I see that if you put anything online, you just cannot assume that people just already know. It's always gonna be somebody that's like, ah, oh, Bolo, you didn't do the right thing. You said the wrong thing, da, 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 Which I can deal with that. But for the people out there who are really trying to learn you guys usually, you know, ask the questions a certain way or you come at it a certain way. And I usually respond that way. And there was a few questions I responded um, actually wrong because I didn't read the question fully. And I'm sorry about that. You guys know who you are. Sorry about that. But I actually apologize and everything is all good. Now, another thing somebody brought up to me was actually handling your business before you even think about getting a publishing deal. Because yes, you have to handle all of the paperwork and everything else with the song or songs before you even think about getting a publishing deal. So if you're a producer, an artist, a songwriter or whatever, you want to make sure that you have that song completely legally done before you even think about getting a pub deal. So you wanna make sure you take care of who's getting what percentages, you want to make sure you do an agreement. You want to make sure you take care of all that stuff and make sure the song is legally finished before you worry about getting a pub situation. Okay, so that means that you're most likely going to have to have a qualified entertainment attorney to look over all of the agreements, make sure everything is all good, make sure the song is signed, sealed, and delivered, and you are ready to go and to push that record out so it can make millions and millions of dollars and some big publishing company might wanna to come to you and offer you a huge deal. And in that way, you can go ahead and get your lawyer, lock that thing down and do your thing, okay? So yes, you have to have a qualified entertainment attorney. That's the key. A qualified entertainment attorney who knows what they're doing to look over these agreements to make sure that you are good. Regardless if you're just taking care of the song or if you're trying to get a record deal, or if you're trying to get a pub deal, or whatever, it is always best to get a qualified entertainment attorney. And I'm sorry if I did not mention that. Y'all, I'm just trying to help you out as much as I can, and I'm just trying to help you guys out. That's it. And sometimes I mess up, but I do hold myself accountable. So I hope you guys understand where I'm coming from. Hope you guys learn something from it. And like I always say, peace out.